Hi everyone, Ben here. So this is a work in progress on my homemade CarPlay receiver solution. It's designed to be retrofitted into head units where replacements aren't an option, um, such as those that have been integrated into dashboards. And it's fully button controlled, um, which means that it also works on devices that don't have touchscreens, such as my 2008 um, Audi TT. Um, so what we have here, if I just move over, is obviously our iPhone, which is acting as the um, means of serving up the content. And then we have this CarLink kit, which is a $20 device off of AliExpress. And that's hooked into a Raspberry Pi 4 here, um, which is running my custom software solution. Um, so basically how this was put together was by reverse engineering the APK that came with the CarLink kit. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, the CarLink kit is basically an adapter that's designed for Android head units to be able to receive CarPlay. Um, so hats off to Electric Monk, who um, did the initial work on actually decoding the video frames. I went and took that and added support for key presses and actually wired it up so that the audio goes out and things like that. So um, we've got a couple of, of hop keys here. Um, if I just hit F, it'll bring us into full screen, um, which is the typical mode that it would run in. And then I've got buttons to play audio. So you can see we have um, audio fully working here. And you can see as I navigate across, I've got my basic navigation functionality. H for home, H for home again. And we've got all of our CarPlay menus uh, and everything else. Um, so right now, Siri doesn't work. It's kind of entertaining if I hit S for Siri. I get some weird sounding noises. I can only assume that what's happening there is that the audio for Siri and for phone calls exists in a different bitrate. So still working on that, um, but uh, some pretty exciting stuff. Um, check it out on my GitHub. I'll keep uploading this as I figure out more. At Harry LaPotta. Thanks a lot.